What's up, Final Community? The return of the cheapskate. Uh, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, my last video, I told you guys I had a leak in the basement. Uh, that has since been... I think it's been fixed. I think it was a simple issue of uh, my gutter. One of my gutter bits came loose and water got in our window well. Came in the basement. We just had to wait a uh, little while for it to uh, dry out. Uh, rain the next weekend. And after that, uh, no water was in the basement. So, decided to put everything back together. So, basement's put back together. So, uh, the cheapskate is back. Uh, this video, I had a good score last weekend. I uh, wanted to top, show, uh, show off some of that stuff. And I also picked up two records that I'm very excited about that, uh, that uh, I've wanted for a long time. And I finally, finally pulled the trigger and picked them up and found a couple copies at decent prices. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get started. I'm going to start off with the two that are like uh, kind of what we in the community would call grails, for me at least. Uh, they're not ridiculously pricey records, but they're more than I usually spend on records. So I was pretty stoked to pick them up. Uh, two punk records, uh, one from the 90s, or one from the... Uh, early 2000s, one from the 80s, this might even have been 78, but I think it was the 80s, and the one that I think is, yeah, I'm pretty sure is early 80s, uh, but this is Stalin Mushi LP uh, picture disc version of this, one of my favorite records ever, and uh, Really stoked to have picked this up. I uh, found it for a good price. And I have a bootleg copy of this already, but wanted to get an official one, even if it was a pitch, picture disc. But uh, yeah, pretty stoked on this one. Uh, Stalin's one of my favorite bands, and I'm super excited to pick this up. And the next one that was kind of a grail, wanted for a long time. And I spent way more than I wanted to on this, but it was well worth it. Uh, NFC City Weapons LP. Uh, NFC Canadian band do like heavily motorhead influenced, charged, char, DB, discharge y DB stuff. Not that much discharge, a lot more rock and roll and closer to, in, closer to uh, motorhead than anything else. But I love this band. And these records are not getting any cheaper, and I don't know if there are plans to repress these at all or anything. So I finally just sucked it up and picked this up on Feral Ward Records uh, from 2000. I believe this one's from 2004. Yeah, but what an excellent record this is. Uh, just really great rock and punk rock, uh, kind of hardcore punk rock stuff really good rock and rolly goodness uh their last album sounds almost like a thin Lizzy album but this is when they're still channeling the the hardcore uh motorhead styles great record super excited to put this one in now the next one the next few things uh, i'm not going to spend a ton of time on each one there's a bunch of stuff uh, so everything that I picked that I'm gonna show, I picked up for like 30 bucks. Uh, there's two CDs that I'm missing because I left them in my car. Two Ween CDs. So got a bunch of Ween CDs and a bunch of records, some 70s punk, some 70s rock stuff. But I'm gonna show that stuff off. I'm gonna show it real quick. Uh, and the reason that I, I'm stoked about this one too is I picked up my first Ramones albums. Uh, as people on the Ryan and the Kids stream know, I'm not a person who's like nuts about the Ramones. I haven't put any Ramones in my collection, and that was on purpose. Uh, but I found these. They were like less than a buck a piece. 
Uh, this is what we're listening to now. This one's a little noisy. I think it needs to be cleaned. I just popped it on. Because who cleans their records before they play them? Come on. Come on, guys. Get over it. Picked up that one. I picked up Rocket to Russia. These two that I'm showing now, they're Portuguese presses, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, they're from Nova. These are original. They're from, the, I'm pretty sure they're from the late 70s. So, but it was just, uh, they're pressed in Portugal. And I picked up Ramones, It's Alive. And this one's got some water damage on the sleeve. You can see it when I shine it in the light. But still plays fine. The records were perfect. This was actually sealed when I got it. It was a sealed record. So I don't know if that's water damage or if it was just from the record being uh, cramped up in that shrink wrap for so long. But yeah, pretty sweet. I actually really like this record. So everybody that told me on the live stream to check this record out, uh, you were right. This is this is a good one. This is probably the best one that I've best Ramon stuff I've heard. But yeah, getting into it, getting into some Ramones, uh, enjoying it. I'll talk more about it with you guys on Saturday, maybe if I ha if I hop on the live stream. But yeah, pretty stoked to get those, especially for the for the cheap price that I got them. Uh, I'm gonna put a, flip this record. I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put on that in Etsy so you guys can hear it. Uh, and I want to listen to it. So <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. In Etsy. Yeah, so. Uh, picked those up. They were dirt cheap. Uh, they were at a local, sh a local, uh, a person local in my neighborhood uh, posted on one of our, uh, there's a, like a neighborhood group on Facebook. They posted they were having a CD sale. So I went over there for the CD sale. I looked at some of the stuff they had. They had some cool stuff. Uh, I'll show you what I picked up from the CD sale. But when I went there for CDs, they also had like five or six boxes of records that were just chilling there. So I was like, oh, you mind if I look through the records? Uh, are the records for sale too? He said, yeah. So I looked through. Uh, and he said he was just getting rid of stuff. He was trying to raise money. He does a homeless uh, outreach. Uh, so he was trying to make some money for that. So he said, yeah, I'm just selling it. He said he bought the records from a from a, uh, from a a shop that was selling a big lot of records. And he just bought them all. And I uh, the CDs were all from his personal collection. And like I said, this whole box including those three Ramones records, this whole box was 30 bucks. So this is the stack of CDs I picked up. And I'm just going to show them quick. Uh, it's mostly 90s stuff, the stuff that I picked up. So we'll start out, we'll start off with the, the reason, one of the big ones that I got was the, that he, one of the big reasons I wanted to go over there and pick stuff up was he had a bunch of 90s stuff that I liked. He had a bunch of Ween CDs. Uh, I'm a big Ween fan, so this first one, Ween, 12 Golden Country Hits. Sorry about the glare, my light is shining right on these. Uh, picked up Ween, La Cacarocha, Ween Quebec, which I really like this. This 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 album's a good one. Ween Quebec and uh, Ween the Pod. And I also picked up Shinola by Ween and... Uh, God, Ween, Satan. Uh, but listening to Ween, I go, I, I think to myself, like, how did this band ever get, like, mainstream notoriety at all? They're such a weird band. But I really do enjoy their music. They're fun to listen to. And they just hit you with a, with a song every once in a while. And you're like, why, where the fuck did that even come from? Why is that in your brain? But yeah, good stuff. Uh, also picked up... A bunch of hold on, some of them are over here. I also picked up a bunch of built to spill CDs. Uh, this is I've like built to spill for a long time, and they're a little out of my wheelhouse most of the time. 
I'm more of a punk and metal guy, but I like some indie rock stuff. And Built to Spill is classic. Really good stuff. Caustic Resin. And uh, Built to Spill. It's a, some live CD. So cool, cool stuff. Some of that, some of that uh, good indie rockish type stuff. So that was a cool little pickup. There was also some more classic 90s indie rock stuff like uh, these couple Pixie CDs. A couple of Pixie CDs were in there too. Yeah, Surfer Rosa and uh, Doolittle. Good stuff. All in pretty good condition. This one's a little cracked, but the CDs are all in good condition, not scratched or anything, so they'll play through. Uh, got. I thought I had a couple of Tom Waits, but I was gone. Picked up Tom Waits Closing Time. I thought there was another Tom Waits in here. Where did I put it? I must have moved it. And uh, some Towns Van Zant. These were two that I didn't have on on vinyl. I have a couple of them on vinyl, but I don't have Delta Mama Blues. I don't have a self-titled on vinyl, so pretty sweet to get those on physical media. Couple, uh, well, another '90s classic. Uh, Sunny Day Real Estate. My wife got me into this band, but I really do like them. Sunny Day Real Estate. Uh, going along with the Tom Waits a little bit. Nick Cave's Murder Ballads, which I've been meaning to pick up for a while, but finally found it at a price that I was like, hell yeah. I swore there was another Tom Waits CD, but I guess I only got one. And last, but not least, uh couple of collections, Kraftwerk mix, and Clash singles. So yeah, good little stack of CDs there that I picked up for, like I said, it was dirt cheap. Very, very cheap CDs. So I'm pretty stoked about getting those. Uh, also now, a uh, nice little stack of records too. So, that's the stack of records I got. Uh, there's some cool 70s punk stuff in here, which I already showed the Ramon stuff, but I also picked up a copy of the Vibrators self-title, or Vibrators, uh, Pure Mania album. Great record. I haven't listened to this in years. I'm actually pretty stoked to, to pop this on. I think we'll pop this on tonight. But yeah, Vibrators, Pure Mania LP. And I'm pretty sure these are all originals. This one's on Columbia. Super sick. I got a sealed version of this uh, Clash, Black Market Clash 10 inch. Some of these I already had. But I picked them up because they were just like so cheap that I was just like, all right, I'm going to pick them up. But some of these I already had. So I didn't have, I already had these two. I already had First Stranglers, Radis, Norvigus, or whatever, or Four, or whatever they call it. Uh, but I already had this. Great record. Love this record. I found this at Celebrated Summer last year sometime, and I also got uh, another copy of The Stranglers, No More Heroes, but ones I didn't have that I picked up, and this one's kind of cool, it's a promo copy, uh, The Stranglers Black and White, and this is cool because it comes on the white label promo, but it came on like this gray, black, they called it black and white vinyl. So, 
basically black and white splatter vinyl or uh, merge whatever you want to call it vinyl which is pretty pretty cool that was pretty awesome to check out but yeah it's got the little promo sticker on there this is really good I listened to this this is good stuff And I also picked up uh, Strangler 6. Is that 4? Or is that 6? I think that's 6. So this is also pretty awesome. IRS Records. Uh, pretty dope. 1980. Originally 1978. But yeah. So this is a repress, an early repress, but still pretty awesome. And this has good tracks on it. It's got Raven, uh, Duchess, Nuclear Device. Yeah, a lot of really good songs on here. So, pretty awesome. And I've got singles of a couple of these tracks off this record, but really good stuff. Also in there was uh, Venus and the Razor Blades. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I listened to a part of it, and I was like, eh, maybe... But this was also sealed when I got it, and it has a slight warp of plays through. But, uh, yeah, Venus and the Razor Blades, Kim Fally Project. Uh, picked up, uh, Lords of the New Church, uh, with Stiv Bader's band after, uh, after the Dead Boys. Pretty sick. I uh, haven't listened to this yet. This one is like completely, the glue completely failed on it, but it's still got the inner, the record's in good shape. Uh, so I don't really care. I'm gonna put it in a sleeve and call it a day. Uh, let's see, what other punk stuff is in here? Uh, some new wavy stuff here as well that I picked up. Uh, Picked up XTC's English Settlement. Uh, this is a good record. I enjoyed it. I listened to this one last weekend. Uh, sealed Scandal record. I don't know this band, but I thought it looked cool. So I was like, eh, they had all the Ramon stuff and stuff, and it was sealed. And I just went, eh, I'll check it out. And a sealed Vapors record. So this is cool, new wavy stuff. Uh, it's got the, the hit turn in Japanese on it. But yeah, this was a good record that I've seen people in the VC that I trust have uh, recommended checking this record out. So. And I found it in that lot, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to take it. And then like a small stack of some rock and rolly stuff. This is a cool one. It's a comp, Nuggets comp. Uh, artifacts from the psychedelic era. And this has some really good bands. Electric Prunes, The Stendhal's, The Strange Loves, uh, The Seeds, Shadows of Night, uh, 13th Floor Elevators, Count Five, Amboy Dukes, Blues Magoos, a lot of really good, The Naz, really good stuff on here. And Naz is Todd Rundgren's original band, so... If you, if you know, I, I'm kind of a sucker for Todd Rundgren projects for some reason. Uh, but yeah, great stuff. This was cool. That was a cool one to pick up. Uh, picked up some uh, Blue Oyster Cult. And Blue Oyster Cult, I already have these, but like I said, they were in good shape. So, And this one's actually in better shape than the one that I have. So... Yeah, picked up the Blue Oyster Colts self-titled, uh, Agents of Fortune, which I already own, but this one has a, actually a nicer cover, gatefold cover. And Blue Oyster Colts Tyranny and Mutations. Um, these are a little dirty. I think they need a cleaning. 
Uh, but yeah, pretty sick. And the one that I didn't have that I've been wanting to pick up and have been waiting to find it at the right price, Secret Treaties. Uh, great record. 1974. Really rocking stuff. Career of Evil is a banger. But yeah, great record. Uh, and one prog rock record, which I'm sure you guys don't care about, but I was pretty stoked because oh, it has the newspaper too. Because I have a copy of this, but no, uh, I've got a copy of this thick as a brick. But I don't have a cover. I don't have a cover for it. So now I've picked up a copy with a cover. And uh, yeah, pretty neat. Came with. It has the newspaper inside. Like I said, prog rock. Kind of a basic, but I do like Jethro Tull. And I do really like this Jethro Tull record in particular. So yeah, that's the stuff I picked up from. Um, dude around the corner for me literally within walking distance to my house in my development uh so he was a super nice guy uh said he was just trying to get rid of some stuff then out his herd but uh yeah that's what i got for you this week uh so i'm back uh doing videos try and do them once a week like i usually do uh maybe i'll do them more uh kind of miss doing videos but yeah if anybody's uh, not busy tomorrow night, you should check out the Doctor and the Kids stream. Uh, one of my favorite streams on the on the YouTubes to hop on and chit chat with those fellas. And uh, yeah, hope everybody has a good weekend. And uh, cheers.